this? Sorry to bother you. Do you have time to answer 47 questions? Sure, come on in. Hey. Where are we right now? Right now we are in Furry Dining Hall, which is one of three dining halls on Pomona College. What does your job as a nutritious systems manager entail? Part of my job is implementing a new food management and nutrition software system, which we should be rolling out in a few weeks. Another part is managing our food allergen program. And I also offer free nutrition consultations to Pomona College uh, students, faculty, and staff. What made you want to be a nutritionist? I had always been fascinated with food and interested in it, and I really wanted a career and not just a job. And I pursued it, and I know it's a meaningful position and it gives a lot of value to people. How do you work in conjunction with chefs and managers at Pomona? Uh, I talk a lot with the chef managers about nutrition and menus and recipes and we also talk a lot with the dining managers who are out on the floor a lot with the students who have a great feel for what's going on and I get a ton of great feedback from them on improving things here at the dining halls. When did you start working here? I started in 2012 part-time and full-time in 2015. As a Pomona alum, what made you want to come back? It's fun to come back with a different perspective as an adult with life experiences as opposed to a student. Things are just different and it's a really wonderful place. What was your favorite part about Pomona as a student? One of the most transformative experiences for me was traveling or studying abroad. I was in Athens, Greece for six months and it was life changing for me and I'm very grateful for that experience. How are the dining halls different when you were a student? They really haven't changed at all. I think Frank Dining Hall was brand new when I started in 84, so it, it really hasn't changed, which is nice too. What is a goal you have for the Pomona College dining experience? One of our goals is to make sure that the dining experience is a comfortable experience and safe. And we want to be sure that our, it's, um, it's easy to get through and that the, the signage is clear so people know what they're eating. What are some of the things that you're working on to improve the dining halls? One of the things I mentioned earlier is this, uh, food nutrition and food management nutrition software that we're implementing and part of that is you can go online and you can click on an item and you can see its nutrition, its ingredients. And we're also going to have these icons which will clearly display what allergens are involved. Also, is it vegan or vegetarian? And it'll also show if there's meat in it, what type of meat is in it. What is your favorite part of the job now? Favorite part of my job is meeting with the students. I really enjoy that. What's the hardest part of the job? I think the hardest part, like with many jobs, is trying to get everything done in one day. It's hard to get everything done. What does a typical day for you look like? A lot of the day is inputting some nutrition data into our uh, software system. Uh, I might meet with a student or two for an hour or so. And I also spend a lot of time with the chefs going over recipes. What's the best dining hall dish you've ever tasted? I love our Kung Pao Tofu. What are some of the keys to eating healthy in college? I think the biggest thing you can try to do is to strike a balance. You know, educate yourself a little bit about what is a healthy plate, and on most days, try to maintain that balance. What is your favorite dining hall at the other Claremont Colleges? I enjoy the dining hall at Harvey Mudd. Name one thing you can't live without. Chapstick. What's one thing you're at the absolute worst at? I cannot draw. Who's the funniest person you know other than yourself? That's my husband, Brian. What's one thing about you that you would think people would be surprised to learn? I can still do handstands and cartwheels pretty well. What's one skill you wish you had, but don't? I wish I had some artistic ability. If you weren't a nutritionist, what would you be? I think it would be really cool to be a pro surfer. What's your dream vacation destination? Uh, that would be Tahiti or Fiji. What's your all-time favorite restaurant? Uh, there's a place in Santa Ana called The Playground. It's awesome. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would that be? 
hands down, that would be pizza. What's the best book you've read recently? I read something called The Nightingale. It's about um, World War II France. What's the last TV show you binge watched? I've enjoyed watching um, Succession on HBO. What's your favorite spot to relax on campus? I love Marston Quad. That's my favorite place. I heard you hold an Iron Chef competition for students. Can you tell us more? Yeah, we do. Every semester we offer an Iron Chef competition that's open to the five colleges. And they come in and compete for the Gold Cup. Do that twice a year. What do you prefer? Breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Lunch. Let's check out what's for lunch today. Can you tell me more about the new allergen-friendly station at Frank Dining Hall starting in the fall? Sure, let me introduce you to our executive chef, Travis Ellis. He developed the menu for that new station. Hi, Travis. Hi. Can you tell us a little bit more about the allergen-friendly station at Frank? Absolutely. So the Allergen Friendly Station was a way for us to make the dining uh, pleasure more, more pleasurable for the students that come here with certain food allergies. Travis, well we have some time with you. What excites you the most about the direction of the culinary experience on campus? Really the most exciting thing is just being able to just get recipes from all around the world, different cuisines, and be able to bring those to the students here. What's the best new dining hall dish coming this year? Uh, the best dish for me is a spicy Kung Pao cauliflower. What's the food, recipe, or dish that you want to bring on campus but haven't had the chance yet? So I really want to get a vertical rotisserie so we can make some al pastor uh, tacos. What can we look forward to at Turf Dinner? So Turf Dinner for Pomona College, we're going to do uh, Indian street food. And so we'll have three different savory dishes and then some ice cream as well. Thanks, Travis. We'll let you get back to work. Thanks a lot. Liz, what are some of your top healthy living tips? Oh, I think it's really important to make exercise a part of your daily routine. Just do it. What's your go-to healthy snack? My go-to healthy snack is probably a good old apple. What's your guilty pleasure food? It's back to pizza. I could eat that all day long. Are dining halls friendly for vegans and vegetarians? Oh, of course. We have a great uh, variety of vegetarian and vegan options every day. How can students get a hold of you? We're, e we're easy to find on our website, the nutritionist at pomona.edu, and we're always around campus too. When you're not working, what do you like to do? I'm a beach person, so I really like to go to the beach, and I also enjoy hiking in our local hills. What's your biggest fear in life? Public speaking. What's the most adventurous thing you've ever done? Um, sadly, I'm really not that adventurous, so I say now that I'm trying to get back in the water and to relearn surfing again. What's one thing you wish you knew in high school? I would tell myself not to worry about the boys so much. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? I would really like to be able to fly. What's one thing you want to be remembered for? I hope I'm remembered for being a kind person. What's the best thing about working here? Just being on this campus. It's a beautiful place to be and there's a lot of beautiful people around here. Thanks so much for answering all of our questions. Now, do you mind if we stay for lunch? Oh, please do. Thank you.